Before you go on any long or unfamiliar journey, it's likely you open your favourite maps app, put in the destination and try and get a rough idea of how long it's going to take you to get there based on how much traffic there is. But have you ever wondered how Google Maps, Waze and other map services know how much traffic there is on your route? That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. Most map services work in the same way and some share data. For example, Google's parent company owns Waze, so in this explanation we're going to focus on Google Maps as it's the most commonly used. Google Maps collects anonymous location data from millions of smartphones using the app. When Google Maps users have location services enabled, their devices send their GPS location data to Google. By analysing the speed and movement patterns of these devices, Google can determine traffic conditions. If a large number of devices are moving slowly along a motorway, Google can safely assume that there's likely to be heavy traffic or some kind of slowdown. The more users on the road, the more accurate the traffic information becomes. GPS isn't the only way Google can track a device's location though. If you're connected to a Wi-Fi network, or even if your phone picks up a potential network to join, the network's IP address can give a rough estimate of your location. Also, your phone constantly communicates with cell towers to maintain a connection with your mobile network. This can be used to estimate your location within a larger area. Many people aren't aware that their location and data is constantly used for services like Maps. The device doesn't even need to have Google Maps open to be sending location data to Google. If you have location services set to always allow for Google Maps, then your location data is being sent to Google even when you're not using the Maps app. So now we know how Google and other providers can predict regular traffic, but how about things such as accidents or police presence? That's actually a lot more simple. Users can report incidents such as accidents, road closures, or hazards directly in their Maps app. This crowdsourced data helps provide real-time updates and refine the traffic information. Using crowdsourced data from users' phones isn't always perfect though and can be manipulated. In one of the most famous cases, a German artist named Simon Weckert created a fake traffic jam on Google Maps in 2020 by walking around the streets of Berlin with 99 smartphones in a cart. Each smartphone had Google Maps open and because the phones were moving slowly, Google Maps interpreted this as a traffic jam. It's worth pointing out that Google isn't the only company that uses customer location data in the way we've described and other map providers effectively do the same thing. Are you concerned about companies obtaining and using location data in the way that they do or do you see it as necessary to provide a service such as Google Maps? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.